Let me quickly run through some features of this uh, MAA 3D Calc Plotter. It lives at uh, Monroe Community College. Edu, um, and it's a good uh, replacement for some of the other applets. It is still Java, and so I did. Ta you see this little plug-in with a little red minus. I still did have to tell Firefox to uh, specifically allow this. It didn't want me to run it because um, you know it doesn't have all the signatures and all that kind of thing. Okay, so like a lot of these things, you can rotate it just by clicking and dragging. It can be a little weird to get it back to exactly where you want it. Okay, but with some playing with it, you usually get to where you want it. Okay, so here this is displaying this function. Um, I could add in another function, click graph to update the graph. That's kind of cool. That's very. That can get into some very sophisticated stuff about how surfaces intersect in space. Very cool. Uh, we could even do another one. Whoa. Okay. That gets a little more complicated. Okay. So so again, graph is your is a good button because that does just update the graph with everything. Um, this thing is good in terms of formatting the axes. Uh, whoops. Uh, that goes outside your window, huh? Um, X min, Y min, Z min, etc. Uh, the Z clip is probably that it'll display some of the Z, but but won't actually like graph it there. I'm not sure. I haven't even play, played with that. Um, lots of different stuff um, you can do, so that's a good good thing. It's got some very cool features for if you have 3D glasses. Um, it'll play display it in various different ways of um, interacting with 3D glasses, but you probably don't have those, and I haven't played with that, but that so could be really cool. This one ah, clears the graph. Okay. Um, and then you just start over. Uh, uh, this just resets to the default. Okay, so what else do we want? Okay, there's contour plot, which is really, really useful. It gives this pop-up window, choose a function, choose various levels and stuff like that. So it give gives the list. Um, they could, you could enter an explicit list or just a first level step size and number. Let's just go with the default. Okay, um, so it's got labels on these contours. Okay. Um, notice it says click on the contour plot to view the contours in 3D. That's really useful. Okay. Because um, certainly it's nice to have just the plain old contour plot, but it tells you a lot more about you know, how this is working if you're not used to it by displaying them in 3D. Okay. Um, and notice it's kind of become transparent so you can see it, see sort of through it. Now this one's going to be really useful. Okay. Show a trace point on the surface. Just if you click on this thing down here, it'll then don't know if you notice that black dot going around. See it's at the bottom there. Okay. Um, but there's more we can do with that. You can show the tangent plane. We'll get to, pretty soon, we'll get to where um, we'll figure out how to get formulas for the tangent plane. So this is analogous to the tangent line. Notice the tangent plane is horizontal right at that local minimum. Okay. And it's again horizontal right at that local maximum. Very cool. Okay. For partial derivatives, it's really useful to look at just one direction. Um, and so here I'm moving a point. This is very much like the MIT applet. I'm moving a point around um, and looking at how that tangent line goes. And the slope of that tangent line is exactly the partial derivative in the x direction that's coming out and, and a bit to the right in this view. Okay, You could look at the fy. You can look at the y tangent line. So these are different sections of the curve. and those are going to be the y derivatives. Slopes of those blue lines are going to be the y derivatives. Oops, sorry, wrong thing. Um, the directional derivative, that's going to be something we're going to be looking at soon, and that's another also analogous to the MIT applet. So here, if I click with the left mouse button, I'm looking at a point. Let's bring it over, where is, yeah, down here, like near us, okay. Somewhere like here, okay. Um, and then the right mouse button, chooses a direction to go in. So it doesn't have to be along an axis. This is where we get par past partial derivatives. We can look at a section in any direction, like toward us, for example, or kind of perpendicular to us. And we can look at, at that point, in that direction, what does the derivative of that curve look like? And that's called a directional derivative. We'll get to there pretty soon. There's called what's called the gradient vector. Um, and that has to do with directional derivatives as well. So we'll, we'll use that eventually. And then you can go back to, okay, I don't want any of that, that stuff. I just want the graph, okay? And if I want to go back to um, without the contours, well, it still has the same uh, sort of transparent shading, but that's okay. Okay, um, 
And as I talked about with the um, the roller coaster assignment, you could do space curves, but I'm most most interested in this. There's other stuff in parametric surfaces, implicit surfaces, lots of cool stuff that I haven't even tried yet because it's it's fairly new to me. Okay, I think that that takes care of all the things I wanted to say.